Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with snacks around the world. We're definitely going a little bit around the world today with these two snacks. But first I want to tell you, it is my birthday month. I don't know if you can read that. I actually put tea in my birthday month wine cup because <laughs> I don't drink a lot of wine. But you can't really read it. I'll put some fruit juice in there next time so you can actually read it. It's my birthday month. It's June. Yes, I'm a June baby, so I get to celebrate all month. Mmm. Sweet tea. Well, essentially it's crystal light tea with lemon. That's what it is. But I think it's pretty yummy and it'll do. Okay, snacks today. Where are we going around the world? If you saw the thumbnail, you saw that we were going to Taiwan and to Peru. Hmm. Two totally different things, but I think they'll be similar to stuff that I've had before. Which one first? We'll go with the savory one first. How about that? Okay. This one, tostones with salt. Now it does have the straight up American looking label on the back. Uh, manufactured by Inca Crops SA in Lima, Peru. So it is definitely a product of Peru. It says, tostones made with the same care and love used to make homemade plantain chips. I love me some platanos. I really do. Now we all know bags like this are Deborah proof so skizzers it is and yes I skizzered them right open so bleh gone I get the first sniff I smell like plantain chips that's not a bad thing oh wow they definitely look like double fried plantain chips straight away I mean yeah a lot of air in the bag that's typical for a bag of chips or crisps of any kind Mm. Crunchy. Not super salty, but there is a salt on them. Here, have some. Taste of the plantain comes through. You can tell that it's made from a real plantain. It's not a ground up paste extruded into something else. These are made from actual plantains. That's pretty awesome. Did you get a real product? and not some extruded thing. Mm. I love plantains. Mm. If you are on any kind of a low carb or keto diet, don't eat these, okay? This says one serving per container. The container is two ounces. Um, in this two ounce bag, 36 grams of carbs. Plantains are full of sugar. You don't even have to add sugar to them. Ingredients. Plantain, palm oil, responsibly sourced, it says, and sea salt. That's it. They slice them. They fry them. They smash them. They fry them again. That's pretty much the thrust of it. Um, very simply made. It says, are they perfect to dip? Yeah. These would be a great delivery device for dips because they're sturdy. They're not flimsy chips. They're very, very crunchy. Here you go. You can have more. Um, nicely brown. I mean, these are nicely done. I wish that they carried these in our stores. Just straight up carry them at Walmart because these would sell better than hotcakes because chips are more popular than hotcakes. I don't know where the thing sell better than hotcakes came from. I mean, is that a thing? Do people just go around selling hotcakes? I don't understand. Mm. But these are yummy. I could see these dipped in some really awesome guac, some cubed up avocado, little lime juice, diced up very tiny onions, little bit of tomato in there, a little bit of red pepper in there. Y'all. Mm. Mix that up so that some of the avocado gets smashed and some doesn't. Salt. Oh yes. Oh yes. With these, perfect. But of course, eating them on their own is awesome too. Mm. Peru and Inca chips. You did it right. I see some thumbs over there across the room. This is definitely fat chick approved. I really like these. I mean, y'all know me. I like chips and crisps and that kind of stuff anyway. 
but I love me some plantains. Platanos, tostones, con sal. Yes, please. I am all over it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Enough of my chair dancing over the chips. A sip of tea, please. Now, for the sweet item. And you've noticed, no live today. If you watched my um, Time for Tea yesterday, you saw the same top because, yes, I'm recording this on Sunday. I finally had a chance to, on the weekend again, do a little recording so that my lunch hours are not insanity, okay? But there will be some lives coming up, don't worry, but just not today. These are called umbrella cookies. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, A. No, I'm not Rihanna, obviously. Okay, uh, these are from Taiwan. There's very little about the back of the label that I can read. They do have the ingredients list in English as well as in what appears to be Chinese. Ta-da. Yeah, good luck understanding any of that. 25 grams in here. It does say that in English. Um, it also says it in Chinese, I'm guessing. But umbrella cookies. Let's see what it says here. Taiwan Chofu Umbrella Cookie. Crunchy cookies are shaped like little umbrellas and deliciously spiced with cinnamon, star anise, cumin, and cloves. Ooh, a spice cookie? What? What? All right, time for the Deborah op package opening extravaganza. Snip, snip, snip. Rip, throw. Okay. Not smelling much, but they look differently than I expected from the little pictures. Look at these. Oh my God, they're so cute. That really is cute. The spice and stuff in it is so subtle, it's almost non-detectable for me. And that's a shame because I love that combination of spices together. Let me take another one. Oh wait, I'm getting it at the end. Okay. All right. At the end, I'm getting that note of clove with that note of cumin. I was expecting this to be a sweet treat because you know, it said cookies on it. These are not sweet. Here. Very crunchy. But not like toothbreak and crunchy, just like, wow, crunch. See? Almost nothing. But wait till the very end. And then you get that bit of clove and cumin at the end. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. I wish that it had a more spice forward flavor. But I'm not mad at it. Let me try something. Give me another one of those. Okay, another two. I wonder if dunking it in a little... Yes, I know. It's, a, it's cold tea. Get over it. Give it a little dunk. That activates it a little sooner. I wonder... I bet dipping this in, in like a chai tea... Oh yes, these along with a cup of chai tea? Are you kidding me? All day long, all day long. This is Fat Chick approved all day long. Umbrella cookies. Mm. I love, see I love the spice notes in them. Not like the Spice Girls, you know, spice notes. It's not spicy as in hot either. Um, it's just, Ooh, those warm spices that you just love to have in a chai tea, in a cardamom tea that we had last week for tea time. Yes, we did. Um, also, uh, in, in a garam masala. Now, I like to, I'm a weird one. I put garam masala spice in my sweet potatoes because I think it, it's a nice combination. I also use a bunch more of it when I make pumpkin pie because I am not a standard kind of girl. I do a lot of things differently. Okay. Yum. I like this. I like the crunch a lot. It really is crunchy. Mm.
y'all. Two for two this week. Two for two. By the way, these snacks came from my Munch Attic box. Not sponsored. I pay for the subscription myself. I'll look them up. You can just look up Munch Attic subscription box and you can find it if you do the googs. And, uh, yeah. I get sent a nice assortment of things from around the world every month. You get a little information sheet that you can do the scanny bit thing or go to their site or whatever and look for the more information stuff. And you can get more information than this about it. I think you can actually order some of the snacks um, that you've tried and be like, oh, I like that. Let me order some. I think you can do that there too. I haven't bothered because I shouldn't be eating that many snacks, <laughs> which is why I share my snacks around the world. I usually am not sitting here eating them all by myself. But those two, yes. Yes, queen. We have four thumbs up out of two people here. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for coming by for the snacks around the world. Some playlists may have popped up throughout this little video. Um, if you see them, click on them. Check out a playlist if you haven't already. I do crochet. I do crochet. But I also do snacks and tea and hot taste on Wednesdays. The occasional tutorial. And just, you know, whatever pops across this weird mind of mine. It's weird here. Embrace the weird. Embrace it. Hug it. Love it. Squeeze it. Pet it for backwards and call it George or not. I, whatever. Anyhow, thank you for coming by. Hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.